welcome to Cook 30. I'm Jeremy Dixon from the Revive Cafes in Auckland, New Zealand, and also author of the Revive Cafe Cookbooks. And today I'm going to share with you how you can make some delicious, healthy, cafe-style meals. Cook 30 food is all about using wholesome ingredients. We're going to be using whole grains like brown rice and quinoa, awesome protein sources like nuts, legumes and lentils. We're going to be using international herbs and spices to tie everything together and make it taste fantastic and combine it with lots of fresh fruit and vegetables. And the best part about Cook 30 food is you do not have to spend hours slaving in the kitchen to make it. In just 30 minutes, I'm going to show you how easy it is to make a delicious meal for you and your family. On today's show, we're going to be talking about breakfast. And this is a meal in itself. And when you think breakfast, you think this is the most you know, it's the most important meal of the day. So on the menu today we have scrambled tofu topped with avocado. We're going to make our own homemade granola and we're going to make our own almond milk to go on top as well. And we're going to be smothering that with fresh berries. And on the side we're going to have some grilled vegetables, mushrooms, tomatoes and zucchini. Well, the first thing about cooking fast is making sure we've got everything prepared. We've got the jug boiled, we've got a cutting board, a tray on the um, cutting board. We have a pan on the stove hot and ready to go. So we're going to start with almonds actually, for the almond milk. So when you're ever dealing with nuts, if you're going to blend them, it's always helpful to soak them first. And this just softens them up and makes it easier to, to, for the blender to make it work. So we've got three quarters of a cup of almonds and we're just going to put some boiling water over the top. And by the time we come to make the almond milk, these will just be a little bit softer, a little bit gentler on the blender, and will help make a smoother almond milk. You can soak them overnight in cold water, but if you want to do it quickly, boiling water will speed up the process significantly. Okay, to the granola. And where I come from in New Zealand, we call this muesli, so the two, two terms are interchangeable. Nice oven tray, non-stick. We're just going to fire all the granola ingredients in. So we're going to start with oats. And it's quite nice when using oats, and these are rolled oats, but you can get two types. You can get, you can get the normal, thick, traditional rolled oats, which are nice and thick, and you get the kind of the fine cut, and they usually call them quick cook oats. Um, I find it really nice to combine the two because you get the nice crunch from the big ones, and you get the nice kind of moorishness from the little ones. So I'm going to use one cup of each of the, of the oats. Now this recipe is very approximate. So about a cup of each, each type of oat in the tray. You could use a mixing bowl, but we're going to save on dishes. Always helpful for afterwards. Next we're going to add some cashew nuts. And on the recipe here we have um, three tablespoons of cashew nuts. Put some of them in there. Um, we're going to use some coconut. And coconut's great because it has, when it toasts, it has just a delicious flavour. If you don't like coconut, you can just leave it up leave it out. So got one half cup of coconut and um, try to get the, the, um, the stuff that's really long and stringy. Um, it just gives nice texture in the mouth and also try and get the unsweetened coconut which can be very hard to find so search it out and get the stuff that isn't loaded with sugar. Almonds toast up beautifully so we're going to use um, half a cup of almonds and get the slivered ones, the ones that are always already pre-cut. Again, nice texture and mouthfeel, and they'll, um, they'll toast up really quickly. If you use whole almonds, they'll probably take a little bit too long. So half a cup of almonds. Um, what else have we got? Sesame seeds. So we want four tablespoons of sesame seeds. The roasted sesame seeds are beautiful as well. So just, just fire in all your favourite ingredients and, and nuts into this muesli or granola, and it will taste great. We do add fruit, but we don't want to toast the fruit, we add that at the end. So we're just going to add some oil, so we want about three tablespoons of oil. And about three tablespoons of honey as well. Um, you can use date puree as a sweetener or other healthy sweeteners. Obviously try and avoid sugar. And we're just going to mix that around. Um, so it gets evenly coated. Um, you don't need to be too pedantic about it all, it's quite nice to have different ingredients kind of clustering together. So it's quite nice to have, you know, uneven mixes, so it doesn't have to be perfect. But you do want that oil and the honey, you know, spread around a little bit. I'm also going to add a pinch of salt, just to give a little bit of flavour as well. Just check my recipe, do I have all the ingredients in? 
Like, oh, sunflower seeds. We need some sunflower seeds. Where are my sunflower seeds? Oh, got a big bag here. Two and a half a cup of sunflower seeds as well. It's really good to get um, items in bulk where you can. I love buying in bulk. It's probably on about half a cup of sunflower seeds as well. Some extra nice crunch as well. There's lots of other seeds, pumpkin seeds and things you can use as well. So just, just fire in as much as you can. So that's nicely mixed. Look at that. Kind of give it a bit of a shake out so it's even. I'm going to put it in the oven at 300 degrees. And that's going to cook for around about 20 minutes or until it's getting golden brown. You generally don't want to cook oats um, over that 300 degrees Fahrenheit. Well, that's about um, 150 degrees Celsius. Um, so just, that's about the limit for oats that you genuinely want to cook them at. So the um, granola's in the oven and it's a great start for a healthy breakfast. The breakfast we're making today is probably not the type one you'd have every single morning, but a great breakfast that you can have visitors or friends around or family and have a good breakfast together. So scrambled tofu is a delicious, healthy, kind of savoury dish for breakfast. And we're going to make a beautiful one now. So the first ingredient is half um, so we're just going to dice this up really, really fine. Um, and to dice, I just cut it into half moons and then basically cut in the other direction as well. And make sure you hold the onion together so it doesn't turn apart. So we're going to start off with a tablespoon of oil. Put this onion in the pan. You want to hear that nice sizzle when you throw something in the pan. I think that's nice and hot. I'm going to add some ginger. And ginger puree or ginger paste is great for this. Or you can use normal, just cut up some, some whole ginger. We just want about two teaspoons, not a huge amount. We don't want to over ginger flavour this. In fact, it's probably a little bit too much. We might just take some of that out. So just a little bit of a hint of something extra in there. And uh, garlic. So I'll grab two cloves of garlic into the garlic press. And the best way to use a garlic press is just put the garlic, skin and all, in the press and just squeeze it through. Look at that. So not a huge amount of garlic or ginger, but just enough just to give it a nice bit of flavour. And we'll just sauté this around and let it come nice and caramelised. Whoa, strong onion. Whew. So now we want to do some tofu. So we've got some firm tofu and this is available at any supermarket or Asian shop. We'll just drain out the water and with this tofu we're just going to crumble it in. And the kind of obviously scrambled tofu is a, a healthier scrambled egg so we kind of want that bitty scrambled egg kind of a, a texture going on. So just basically crumble it in, just pick off the bits and you want to make sure you're using firm tofu or else you just get kind of a, a mushy texture. As you can see this will give kind of a nice eggy um, texture that'll be really really yummy. Just squeeze it in there, just turn the heat up a bit. We'll leave the onions on the bottom because we want the onions to cook the most, we want, want them to make sure they're cooked. And we'll leave that there cooking for a few minutes and that will start to turn into a really delicious tofu. Now another ingredient is turmeric. We want to make them look yellow, so a quarter of a teaspoon, just a, just a little sprinkle of turmeric will give a beautiful yellow colour. So I'll just sprinkle that on top. Um, two tablespoons of soy sauce or tamari, just to give a bit of saltiness. And that's pretty much it. So we'll leave it there like that. We're not going to stir it yet because we want the tofu to start heating and the onion to fry properly. And we'll come back to that in a couple of minutes. So we've made a great start on the breakfast so far. We've got the almonds soaking. I can smell the muesli or the granola in the oven beautifully. It's starting to toast. I can smell that beautiful coconut and almondy toasting smell. It just smells amazing. It's underway. We've got the scrambled tofu cooking there. Now we're going to start some, some nice vegetables to go along with it. 
And three of my favourite vegetables are tomatoes, zucchini and mushrooms. So I'll start with the mushrooms, so get some nice mushrooms. Now one thing about mushrooms is they always reduce in size, so you need to get more than you think you're going to need. So they're just going to come pretty clean, but there's always little bits of stuff on them. So just into a colander, give them a good wash. Get any um, of the, the dirt off them. And these, these take the longest to cook out of all the vegetables, so we're going to do them first. And we're just going to take them and just nip off the, the end and just halve them. Oh, that one's a little bit dirty, so I might just put that away. So just go through, end off in half. And you want them to be about the same size, so if you get an extra big one you might want to chop it into a quarter, or a small one, just leave it as it is. So just approximately the same size, and we'll just quarter those or halve them. Often we invite people around for dinner or lunch, but very rarely do we seem to often people invite people around for breakfast. So it's a great social idea or occasion to invite some family around for a brunch or a breakfast on a Sunday morning, and you can serve them up this meal. So this is kind of what it's designed for. Also some of the other components, like the muesli or the cooked breakfast, uh, might be something you might have individually on a, on a weekday for breakfast. I think we've nearly finished all the mushrooms. Look at that, and we're just going to throw them in the pan, we're going to put in a, some oil, a tablespoon of oil, and in the pan. Just going to give it a bit of a, a, bit of a whip around, just coat them with oil a little bit. We'll just get those underway. I'll be cooking. Um, next favourite ingredient is tomatoes, and I've got some beautiful red and yellow tomatoes. So the best way to do tomatoes, I like doing it, there's a million ways you can do them, is just cut off the, that end there, and then just cut them in half, just like that. And we'll serve them as kind of big chunks of tomatoes. Cut off the, whoop, but you don't want to eat and cut them in half. A nice big chunky tomatoes. These are home grown out of someone's garden. Absolutely delicious. So try and get multiple colours where you can. So we're going to put that in with the, with the mushrooms. I'm just going to put a little space there for it. So put the mushrooms there, and we'll put these on the side. There's room enough for everyone. It's just become a little hotbed of cooked vegetables. Now we have some zucchini, or they call them courgettes, where I come from. And I quite like doing a random cut. This is a really, really big one, so you can do two small ones or one big one. And doing a random cut, just cut it through the middle, like that. And then we're just going to do a random cut. So a random cut is basically, you have this nice long ways, and just cut a different direction through your cut every time. So you've got these interesting bits that look random, but they're about a similar size. And just the nice kind of pointy bits, give, just give added texture. 
I think there's not enough room in there for these guys, so I'm gonna get another pan. We'll just start another pan just to get these guys going. Where are we? So these got these are uh, zucchini can get their own pan just to themselves. And again, just a touch of oil. If you use a nice non-stick pan, then you don't need as much oil. Keeps things nice and healthy. We will salt these a little bit, but wait till the end until they're after, until they're finished cooking. So look at that, the mushrooms are bubbling away. Mushrooms are full of a lot of moisture, so you want them to, you can see all the steam coming off, so you want that to come off so they become nice and flavoursome. And the, and the tomatoes are happy here as well. So great, our vegetables are underway. Now the tofu, as you can see the onion is now kind of caramelised, it's not raw anymore. I'm just going to stir this up, and this is essentially nearly finished. Obviously we're going to garnish it with something green. It's a beautiful scrambled tofu. I might just give it a bit of a try actually. Should taste good. Let's have a bit of a taste. Mm-mm. Tasting good. Yep, that's pretty much right I think. So we'll just see that cooking a bit longer, just a little bit more moisture to come out of it, and just for the flavours to mingle and taste awesome. In case you've just joined us on Cook 30, today we are making a delicious healthy breakfast, the type you can entertain friends with. We're starting with a delicious scrambled tofu with avocado. We're serving alongside some grilled vegetables with mushrooms, tomatoes and courgettes. We're making our very own homemade granola with our very own homemade almond milk and serving that with some deliciously fresh blueberries and strawberries. Okay, let's check how the granola's going. It's coming on nicely, it's browning up. Check out that, so let's give it a quick stir if you can. You don't want it to start burning. Um, just a quick stir and a couple more minutes and I think that'll be ready. So just give it a bit of a, whiz, a, bit of a mix around and that'll, that's nearly ready. You can just see it's starting to golden really nicely. So now we're gonna make the almond milk and this is really easy. You can buy it at the supermarkets or you can save money and have a better product by making it yourself. So grab our soaked almonds, just drain those out, out. So these are a bit softer now, which will be friendly on our blender, and will mean we can get a, a smoother almond milk. Negotiate with the lid on the blender, that in there. We want some water, so we've got three quarters of a cup of almonds, and the recipe says we want four cups of water. And this will make around about a quart or a litre of almond milk. And you can adjust the amount of water to, you know, whether you want a creamier or a, a thinner almond milk. There we go. Going to add some dates for sweetness. So I generally add um, about four or five dates, whole dates, but I've only got chopped dates. So that's probably about, uh, add about, that's probably about four whole dates there, the equivalent of. Pinch of salt. And I think that's it, we're ready to go. So I'll just blend that. And you really want to blend it quite well. Um, so it really is really fine. You want to make sure you've got smooth almond milk, not water and almond pieces. So if you've got a very underpowered blend, it may take a couple of minutes. Well, that's going, I think we'll get the um, granola out of the oven. And we just wanted this to start cooling, so I'm going to put it in its bowl so that it's cool by the time we eat it, because you don't want to eat hot granola. Really quickly. A little bit of a shortcut. So let's see how the arm milk's going. It's had a good blend around, it's looking beautiful. Looking good. Now you can sieve it through a sieve if you want, but I actually don't don't mind it. 
and you just pour it into a carafe like this. Look at that beautiful, creamy, smooth almond milk. And it hasn't got all those thickeners that you buy at getting the ones at the supermarket. There we go, look at that. That's actually over a, a litre or over a quart. So it's ready for our breakfast. Just going to put it in the fridge to let it cool down a bit. And that'll be just beautiful when it comes to eating our, um, eating the granola. These vegetables are looking great, so I think we'll just give them a bit of a, a turn around. You can see the mushrooms browning up nicely. I'll just give, take this opportunity to give a bit of a sprinkle of a bit of salt on that side of the tomatoes. I'm just going to turn them over to do the other side. And just when you, when you roast the fry them like this, they um, bring out all the beautiful sweet tomato flavours. Look at that. Whoop, that one's a bit overdone. Okay, so they need a little bit longer. We'll just give this a bit of a, a flick around. Nearly ready. So I think we should probably plate up the um, scrambled tofu. Look at that, all ready to go. Just pour that in the bowl. Now this actually tastes really nice as it is, but we are going to make it taste even nicer, if that's a word you can use. So what we're going to do to add to that, we're going to add some avocado. And this will just transform this dish beautifully. So we're just going to chop this up into cubes. Yes, a good avocado. Again, be careful getting the stone out. Very easy way to slice your, your wrist. And we'll just take the skin off and then cube it and put it over the top. go, just like that. It just blends beautifully with the tofu. And now we're going to add just a little touch of cilantro, nothing major, just to give it a bit of extra prettiness and nothing like a squeeze of lime juice over the top just give it a bit of zing just a little bit and just a drizzle of honey and this will taste absolutely amazing so that's ready to go scrambled tofu like you've never had before um, now we better plate up these vegetables so grab a nice white platter. We're just going to edge them off onto the platter. These guys are ready too now, I think. I'll just put these tomatoes on here nicely. It's great having the contrasting colours of the tomatoes. Get the mushrooms in there as well. Don't lose all that beautiful tomato juice. As you can see, they're about a quarter of the original size. And we'll just a bit of parsley on top to give some greenery. And that's ready to go. Now we want to do some blueberries and some strawberries. I'm just going to change the, the board. We don't want to have blueberries and strawberries tasting like vegetables. So blueberries, they're pretty much done. And strawberries, we're just going to put some in and just cut them into quarters, just like this.
throw them in there, do a nice bowl with strawberries. They look great. And just a touch of mint on top will just add another special delicious flavour just to make those extra special for the breakfast. Okay, we need to get the muesli out of the, or the, the granola, I keep calling it muesli. This is basically done. So all we need to do is add some fruit. So around about half a cup of to in total of some raisins, or sultanas, and some cranberries. There you go. Mix that up. And the granola is ready to serve. And there you have it, a 30 minute breakfast that you can feed your friends and family. So to serve the granola, just put it into a nice bowl or glass. We've got the fresh almond milk over the top. That'll soak in nicely. And the fresh fruit on top. And you can have this during the week as well. So it's a great breakfast. Make more than you need so it can last a long time. And then we've got the hot side of breakfast. And then this scrambled tofu with all these flavours bursting through. You've got the lime, the cilantro and the avocado. Um, you'll really, really love that along with these vegetables. Just grab some great whole grain bread, spoon it on, and you've got yourself a breakfast that your friends and family will absolutely love. Thank you for joining me today on Cook 30. I hope you enjoyed it, and I look forward to seeing you next time.